Happy Friday, FHS. I'm Tyler. And I'm Tyler with your announcements. Testing out forms are available in the high school counseling office. Testing out forms must be completed and returned by Friday, May 12, to the FHS counseling office. Testing out packets will be available in the counseling office the last week of school. Seniors taking out credit recovery have one month to finish their course. Make sure to see Ms. Tomasi with any questions. Don't forget to buy your prom ticket soon. The last day to purchase is next Wednesday, May 3rd, starting next Monday. You'll be able to sign up for your table for dinner outside the room, D206. Tables this year will be eight people to a table. Also this year, ticket purchasers will have the opportunity to request songs to be played. A request form is sent by students your email next week. Buy tickets, buy tickets at lunch and from Ms. Collins in D204. Girls interested in golfing next fall, please see Mr. Osborne so we can develop a plan as we attempt to create this team. Seniors, don't forget to check your email for some important information about lock-in. See Mrs. Connors with questions. In sports, the JV girls soccer team had a solid showing last night against Lansing Catholic in a 1-1 one -one draw. Despite being down 1-0 at half, the Glads played with a lot of heart and effort to earn the tie. Grace Wallace scored the lone goal for the Fowlerville, for Fowlerville while the defense led by Emily Kahn's nine saves held the Cougars' offense in check for the second half. The girls are now 2-1-1 on the season as they travel to Williamson on Monday. The varsity girls tennis team played a tough Lansing Catholic team on Thursday night and came away with a 4-4 four four tie. We are now 4-1-1 one and 1-1-1 one and one one and one in the CAAC White and host a Fatherville Invitational on Saturday. Plays start at 9 a.m. Winning for the Glads and Singles was Emily Tercini, 3-6-6-2-6-0, and Devin Fleischer, 6-1-6-0. Winning for the Fowlerville in doubles were the teams of Alyssa Bennett and Betsy Bassett, 6-3-6-4, and Becca Choate and Chloe Mills in 6-3-6-2. Abby Stepanski dropped a tough match, 7-5-5-7 in 6-4. In the fourth double teams of Shelby Durbin and Maddie Allen lost a heartbreaker 6-0, 3-6, and 6-2. The baseball team fell behind early and could not get it going in 11-1 loss in Game 1 against DeWitt. Eric Fritz had another impressive start for the Glads in Game 2, ending the game in a tie. In six innings of work, Eric Fritz allowed one earned run, struck out four, and walked one. JT Mabey, Connor Brock, Trevor Miller, and Fritz each drove in one run to lead the Gladiator offense. Fowler will be back in action on Monday, May 1st, at home versus Lansing Catholic. Make sure to watch GTV today. Have a great, have a great weekend. I'm Tyler. And I'm Tyler. Signing off.